Um, I, I think the way that your question is framed is very helpful in talking about a dementia-friendly borough rather than about early diagnosis necessarily. That's part of the picture. But I went yesterday to King's College London to a presentation about patient participation involvement. And one of the very interesting points there was about really listening to what patients, service users, carers want and how they define what they're needed. So a dementia-friendly borough might be a much wider question about what makes a borough friendly. And one of the things that I learned through working as an audio describer with blind and visually impaired audiences in the theatre is that a lot of the improvements that you make because the Disability Discrimination Act says so, and the theatre is pushed to make some changes, suddenly they improve the experience for everybody else. Putting in a ramp helps wheelchair users, but also push chairs, pushers. And that's you know, not something I have to tell you about, but for me, it was something that I learned. And I think that that's a kind of wider, wider question um, about how we make the whole borough comfortable to walk around, to cycle around, places where you can stop and get away from the bustle and be somewhere quiet. All of these things contribute to making the borough feel friendly for everyone. Thank you. I'm going to go.